Should we have a Yahoo? Yeah, a Yahoo would be great, Griffin. Uh, this Yahoo uh, was sent in by level 451 Yahoo Shaman, Drew Davenport. Uh, it, it, this Yah Drew was asked by Yah Drew Answers user Sadie, who asks, Haunted Corn Maze actor tips, please. I'm working in a maze this year, and my character is a saloon girl cannibal, and I can't think of anything to say? What would be scary to you? Okay. How about another bottle of Sasperkilla? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure that a portmanteau is like, I know that, that you're fucking terrified of those things. When people put two words together, it should be a part. Ah, no thanks. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm terrified of them for good reason, though. I mean, look at how I brought this show to a screeching halt. Yeah. How about this? Like, uh, hey, cowboy, but you get pretty hungry out there on the range. Care for a bite? Because she's, that's a, like, cause she's that, a cannibal. That's like a slow. <laughs> that's like a Where line are you from, going? Wait, I haven't finished my sentence. That's, like a, that's like, sounds like she's trying to, like, seduce him and eat him like a praying mantis. Right. That sounds like a line from Old West Species. But also, Is that not what's going on? It's just not how corn mazes work. Where you jump out and you're <laughs> He's like, gone. You're like, He's Bra, gone. hey, there, cowboy, you look hungry because you've been out on the range. You've been taking the long road from Tuscaloosa. And it looks to me like, ah, oh, shit. Another oh, one. I, I, I know, gone. just jump out and yell, I got my masters for this. Yeah. I went to I went to Corn Maze School. I was on three episodes of uh, of Days of Our Lives. <laughs> from a from a day player on psych to this. I why do you need characters in a corn maze? Well a corn a corn maze is the fucking scariest imaginable place that you can be. A, you could die in there. You could just get lost and die in there. It happens every year. There's like 30 deaths. It's like more than, um, more than shark bites. Um, mm -hmm. B and way more than Shark Tank. B. It corn, goes, it goes corn maze, corn shark mazes, attacks, shark attacks, and then pot machines falling. Pot machines over falling on over on people. That's exactly right. B. Corn is the scariest vegetable. It looks like a knife. <laughs> it looks like a knife. It's got a fucking hilt. It has its own scabbard, so maybe a sword. Knives typically don't have scabbards or hilts. Um, C, scarecrows. All right. It's just there. It's just right there. I, I just I mean, why not? Why not just like wear a scary mask and jump out? Do you think the guy who invented the scarecrow, hmm. like on the day he invented it, he was like, "Ah, oh, that's pretty." Uh, and he invented it during the daytime, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I got to figure out something to do to get rid of these crows." Wait a minute, I got it. I'll make a scarecrow. And he made it up in the daytime. He was like, eh, pretty good invention, pretty great old Tommy man. I think I crushed it. And then that first night, he looks out the window and is like, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> this is the scare. Hey, Martha, come look at this shit. I'm losing my mind. Look what I did. I made the scariest thing ever. So we now I'm a, I'm a nightmare weaver, Martha. I'm a nightmare Martha. weaver. I am Edgar Allan Poe. I made a, I'm I made a scare human. Is what I'm, I mean. I'm Stephen King, senior, 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 and I can't believe I just created this terrifying vi vision. I was at Home Depot the other day buying a, a, a fire pit, and uh, they had their, you know, they had their autumn regalia out, and there was a fucking scarecrow that was just like propped out in the garden section, and there were actually crows on it, like actual crows just like chilling. Pretty good oh, scarecrow. No pretty good job inventor of the scarecrow you invented things that can only scare humans and nothing else well done <laughs> sir no the world wasn't scary enough let's go ahead and get more stuff and make sure that we surround it with knife-shaped produce terrific job yeah. the worst part about that is that guy had to watch all the time to see if it was working he just had to stare at that thing maybe set up like an old-timey lawn chair next to it and just see if the crows were coming. and eventually Ugh. they became friends i lost a shoe in a corn maze once do you remember those books that like you used to buy at the Scholastic Book Fair that were like Scary Story Six or whatever? Yeah, goose, pimp were, goose pimples. They were scary as fuck. There was, there was one about like a, a scarecrow that like peeled people's skin off and laid it out to dry on a barn or some shit. Yeah, and but it was actually Richard Gere dressed mm -hmm. up like a scarecrow. I think that's the plot of the hit West Virginia made film Dark Harvest. Mm -hmm. Richard starring. I can't believe they got Richard Gere in that independent yeah, film production. Yeah, it's a big hit. Yeah. But actually, that's funny. Richard Gere is in the Mothman movie, which is set in West right. Virginia. Right. He was. So it's he, not that much of a stretch. He was in WV. He was like, let me swing by for Dark Harvest. But I'm also. Let me get into Dark Harvest real quick. I'll play a scarecrow. I, it'll be easy for me because I do that shit in real life. Every scarecrow you see, the Richard Gere's in there somewhere. And he wants your skin. He would love it. He would love nothing. That's how he stays looking so young. He would love nothing more than to take your skin, 
put it on himself, get rid of those fucking William Daniels wrinkles. When he does that charming Richard Gere wink, that's his eyelid skid falling uh-huh. off. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to scoot it back in place. There's a, there's a special motion graphics designer that works on every fucking film he's in that has to edit that shit out. That has to edit, off this, edit out the sloughing of his skin to the floor. Guys, if one celebrity besides Richard Gere had to be every scarecrow, mm-hmm. <laughs> which actor or actress do you think would be, is like the most like a scarecrow? I think Jeff Goldblum is very much like a scarecrow. Well, that's not fair. No, he's like a okay. he's like an American treasure. I love Jeff Goldblum. Are you saying because he has the dimensions of a scarecrow? Is that what you're saying? Because that's that's I'm, hateful. I'm just saying if it turned out he was a scarecrow the whole time, I wouldn't be surprised. Bushimi too. Well, that's okay. Bushimi I'm sorry, like Justin. Bushimi, I hate yeah. to call you on semantics, but you wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that Jeff Goldblum had <laughs> if a Jeff, scarecrow all along. If Jeff like, Goldblum <laughs> just fell over at the Oscars. <laughs> And a bunch of straw poured out of him. You'd be like, I fucking knew it. I told yep. everyone. I'm 33. It's very hard to surprise me. Anymore. We met Jeff Goldblum uh, outside the the show door at the Rainmaker, and I lit a cigarette, and he lost his fucking mind. Yeah. Explain that. He said, uh, he said uh, like wet hay. He said, uh, Oh no 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 uh, no no no. <laughs> That's my Jeff Goldblum impression. Yeah, it sounds a little bit like Yogi Bear. No no no. But no. hey, we must we must get away. We must get away from the the cigarette. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, better, better. <laughs> hey, better. Um, <laughs> Impressions. If we're gonna, if we're gonna afford all of these anti Richard Gear wards that we have to hang in every room of our house, we're gonna need some more money.